one. Greetings friends and fellow gamers and welcome to Reapers and Renegades 24th episode. I'm Adam, your host, and today we're on Red Dead Redemption 2 again in the online mode of the game. And today we're joined by both Silent Blade, who I'm sure you all remember from our previous videos, both on Red Dead and Anthem, as well as Dante's Lament, who's new to the channel. Say hi to the viewers, guys. How's it going, people? <laughs> okay, and if you enjoy this video, then please remember to hit that like button. It really helps, guys and girls. And if you're new to the channel, then please remember to hit that subscribe button for regular videos on the games we all love to play. And please remember also to hit that bell for notifications of our latest videos. So today we're going to be showing you a great area in which to hunt small game and birds, as well as showing you exactly which types of small creature are actually worth breaking down so as to maximise the profits from your satchel each time you visit a butcher. Okay guys and girls, let's get cracking. Okay guys and girls, so as you can see, typically it's just started raining, but i uh, going to be using the varmint rifle mostly for this, and we're just going to start hunting and obviously filling our bag up with as many small game as we can now some of the larger small game as i'm sure you're all aware we'll be able to actually hang one on each side of our saddle and of course if we see any deers or uh, bucks or anything like that does i should say does or, or bucks we'll uh, be putting them on the back for the journey back to the there could even be a cougar around this is a cougar spawn too so there's a possibility one of us will make a few quid out of one of them or bucks rather but yep, so we're just going to go slowly, not too quick, because there's normally, typically it's going to make a lot of me, but there's normally some rabbits on this corner coming up. So I'm hoping we'll either get rabbits or maybe raccoons, because they can also spawn in the same locations. May even get badgers, but not really next to the road normally. And typically, every piece of wildlife has decided to leave West Elizabeth. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. What did you get? One star, jackrabbit. Okay, nice little jackrabbit. So, Keep the pelt. The skin's still worth it though, guys, because yeah. if you hit it with a garment, it still comes off as a perfect skin. You just dump the body. Yeah. Yep, yeah, well pointed out. Very good tip there, guys and girls. Useful. Doesn't happen in online for some reason. Arthur's actually got to be a lot more accurate than we have in... Uh, sorry, doesn't happen in story. Arthur's got to be a lot more accurate than we have in online. But as long as you, he's correct, as long as you... Oh, sorry, Blade is correct. As long as you use a, a varmint rifle and get a single shot kill, you will pretty much always get a perfect pelt. So, I have to actually move it along a little bit. You got a rat? Cool, I've got a few of those in my bag, but they're very good creatures. They do uh, yield a little bit of dough. They're very easy to kill. Difficult to see though, aren't they? Very quick on their feet. Good target practice, actually, rats. Some of the really small creatures are going to be um, damn near impo oh, impossible to get with... Uh, three star unless you have a small game arrows that's true but as well yeah they, yeah very very good point um again as you got the guys and girls i'm sure are aware from our previous videos blade normally comes along with me on these rides because he is literally our hunting specialist in much the same way that uh, dante here is our uh demolitions expert and because of this obviously he's already purchased himself the small game arrow which is the only reason i'm not using my bow Oh, we've got some birds. Oh, I think nice. I've hood, hooded Oriole. What, I'm not sure. Let me check. Right, I've got a good songbird there, and I've got two cardinals there. Okay, I'm going to come up there and grab that. I did shoot a few birds as well, but hopefully they won't disappear because they should stay in my radar. It's just on the edge there, yes. Right, now you've got it here at your feet, no doubt. I'm not seeing it. It might not show up for me because you killed it. I know that sounds strange, but I'm not seeing anything even with a uh, sort of eagle eye. So you grab it, mate. A good shot. Nice. 
and obviously we'll uh, discuss the the bag situation where we get um, not sure mate not sure I think it's going to be a case that we're going to have to pick up our own kills with the small birds I really do now unfortunately it does seem and this is another good tip guys and girls that if you are shooting you really do need to keep the a the downed creatures inside your mini map because as you can see those birds those three birds I dropped have all despawned even though I had them on the edge of the map for the community got it so I'm gonna go and get that one see what we got I think it was probably a crow or a raven now luckily because I had a feeling that the wildlife was going to become very camera shy, guys and girls. I've actually, while I've been off camera earlier yesterday and this morning, I've been collecting small animals and putting them in my bag. A few fish, uh, a couple of frogs, some squirrels, a few different songbirds, etc. Just purely so that I would be able to definitely show you what I was talking about. Now, that's a loon, so we're not going to bother with the body because it's only a one. But the feathers are always worth grabbing on the loons, guys. That'll only be worth about a buck fifteen, maybe a buck thirty for a one star. So it's not really worth hanging. I can get three and a half out of a three star rabbit. You know, three buck fifty. So it's just not worth hanging. I got me a one star cougar. Nice, one star cougar was up in the same spawn from my previous video, yeah? Mm-hmm. So if anybody wanted to know exactly where blade has actually seen that cougar and shot that cougar and has got has got it then if you was to watch our big game hunting video on this channel that will actually show case where to go up here and exactly how to get that uh, cougar which does spawn as a one two or three star obviously but if the cougar was here then i think they only spawn in this location when the cougar's not oh 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 we have a squirrel okay little squirrel here instead that'll obviously be a varmint so we will get a perfect pelt if we were to break him down but again i will discuss in more in depth which creatures are actually worth breaking down and which ones aren't so that you can maximize the money from your actual hey, satchel come grab this uh three star red squirrel okay i'm on my way we'll see if i can get the get it to pick I'm up after a three star rat too but i'm waiting for you to get over here for this squirrel. all right that's dante sorry went to the wrong blue dot coming to you now mate Oh, yep. come on foot, try not to scare all. Nice. Yeah, I just got a two-star black, thank you. Oh, yeah, I can see that one. I can tell it by the blood. Yeah, right, right so. in front of me. Excellent, thank you, mate. Thank you for that. Thank you, because obviously you're the only mm -hmm. one capable of getting the three stars at the minute, so that's a... Uh, I can show that. That is exactly what I needed, because I've I definitely got some good squirrels. Oh. Oh, no, nice, it's a crow, so that is actually baggable. Oh, nice. Nice. I haven't got a muskrat. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I don't have a muskrat in the bag. Now, I think that's you over there. Yeah, that looks like your Arabian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way, mate. I can see it on the floor. Maybe I was just too far away the first one. Because there was no, no... There was no... Oh, actually, birds don't leave blood marks, do they? So I'll actually take the skin off of him so we can show what the skin on one of them's worth. We won't bother with the body because it's only a one star, obviously. But thank you, mate. Thank you. Appreciate that. Really do. That'll be very helpful when we're at the butcher at the uh, end of the video. Now, annoyingly, guys, normally when I come here, there is a lot more wildlife. And a lot less traffic from the NPCs. Oh, the river's nicking me. That's it. I think we might have a crane there. Is that a crane? No, it's a duck. Now, that's a two-star, so I will hang it on the saddle for the time being. Unless we get a three-star to replace it with. I got you a three-star black rat over here if you want to come grab it. Nice. Nice. Thank you, Blade, mate. Again. Very, very sensible of you to get the uh, small game arrow.
Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I see it. Thank you very much, mate. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to have to get myself this small game arrow pamphlet, which I should say is obtainable from the uh, fence. I believe is it 375 for the small game arrow pamphlet. If I'm wrong there, Something it's like not by that. much. It's, we'll probably give it about another 10, maybe 15 minutes, and then we'll go back to the butcher with what we've got, and we'll discuss the best methods for actually getting the most out of your satchel. And, Rub it. That's better. That's more like. Oh, cool. Oh, cougar. I'm down. Oh, did not see that lane in wait for me. So, again, be careful, guys. There's a cougar here. Right, so we'll be right back just as soon as I load back in. Welcome back, guys and girls. Well, amazingly, quite a lot has happened in the very short time since I died. Obviously, I had to whistle my horse because it spawned me quite a distance away, and I managed to literally spawn on top of a three-star raccoon, so I shot that with my varmint rifle. Now, whilst I was actually respawning, Dante rode straight up on the cougar and shot it. Unfortunately, it was only a one-star, but he's actually got it, and he's bringing it to me. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it, mate. Again, just more evidence that we've always got each other's back. As soon as one of us went down, the other one was there and killed the cougar for me. I mean, I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you. And it's, I understand you're giving it to me because it had the audacity to kill me. Thank you very much, mate. I do appreciate it. You're a star. And uh, I believe Blade is actually making his way towards us because he's got a bit of a surprise as well yeah i i took down a buck out here so i was gonna see if dante wanted this cougar that i got earlier okay so we've had two cougars up here okay very good sport excellent so we've all managed to pick up some more animals out there. we may get some rabbits up ahead got something right not there. sure not sure what that was but i shot it don't fall in the water please don't run don't run over it. It's right here. Yeah, I just got myself a black tail jack racket rabbit two star. I got a three star here if you want to add it to the video. Yes, please, mate. Yes, please. I shall hang that instead of that two star duck. And that way I can actually show that they are worth three and a half bucks just for the carcass. Okay, now we want to skin this. Thank you very much, Blade. I do appreciate it. Very useful. Funny, I just shot a two star. Like I say, rabbits are very easy to find. They're pretty much everywhere. And the good thing about a rabbit, as I was saying, is that when you do get a three star rabbit, you get a reasonable amount for the pelt, obviously. And in long line, it's easy to gather up those pelts because even that two star will have given us a perfect pelt. But the actual perfect I carcasses are worth three and a half dollars each. Oh. I caught a two star manimal. You caught a two star <laughs> manimal? <laughs> 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 Still, oh, hello, got a sort of bird on the road. It's an American crow, another baggable, nice. What a silly place to sit, wasn't it, Mr. Crow? Actually getting more animals on the way back than we did on the way down. Um, but as I was saying, you can see there's a great deal of birds here. There may be a fishing spot down there. Oh, right, you found them over there, yeah? Okay. Right. I had a feeling there would be somewhere here, because it's too... Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for, some ripples. So, let's just see if we can catch a quick fish. Now, again, we're going to be after the smaller fish, because we want to put them into the satchel. So, we'll be heading for not using a law but instead using one of the free baits well free and online baits so i'm going to use a bit of corn i'm just going to chuck it out there and hopefully we'll get a bite a little flick got one now i find the best method for this is let it struggle and then reel in as fast as you can and if you need to reel in quicker you can pull back on the actual rod but we just seem to have got ourselves a nice little pickerel Thing that's pickerel. Yep, little chain pickerel. We'll keep that. And I'll cast once more. There is a lot of fish here, though. And I'm going to reel that in a bit more. What are we, Lake here? 
I believe so, yes. again okay so what we got this time there are all manners of different small fish in here should be pickerel bluegill uh, bass probably some steelhead as well I would have thought seeing as it's like and obviously I believe there's northern pike up here as well okay so a little bluegill there we'll keep that uh, yeah I can see northern pike in there there's definitely northern pike in there I can see one, I think you might have one on now, yeah. But I'm going to go for one third fish. And because uh, I already know I've got, I had about six, seven in there already. Yep. Just let me turn the camera. Yeah, do you want to walk it around here to me? Sorry, because I've got the line in the water. That's a muskie, which is actually a breed of northern pike. They are a relative, they are a member of the pike family, the northern muskie, they're the, the largest pike, I believe, the muskies, tiger muskies. Yes, that's a very pretty fish. Now, I believe that will sell free, I'm not sure if it's seven and a half or eight bucks, but again, they're reasonable money. Do you think that's worth more or less than a one-star cougar carcass? Oh, one-star cougar carcass is probably worth, I've got a feeling the one-star's worth about five, I'm not sure. That should be worth seven and a half, maybe even eight. I think that'll probably be worth more than the one star cougar. But I would skin the cougar, obviously, and take the pelt and everything. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, if you don't mind. It'd be good for just for the science thing. Right. Yeah, because that buck on the back of yours is worth too much money to swap out for that fish. Yeah, they're the bucks are uh, three star, so it should be worth 13 but. Yeah, I'm pretty good with the hunting, but fishing's never really been my thing. <laughs> I try, though. Yeah, it's that fishing's far more Dante's. I mean, I don't mind fishing in real life. Oh, I'm on again. Yeah, yeah. It's a very relaxing pastime, fishing. And a great way to get an afternoon away from the family when you need a bit of time for yourself. Right, so we've got ourselves a little perch there as well. So as you can see, I mean, we've had three different breeds of fish in about five casts. So depending on how skilled a fisherman you are, it is a good spot there for fish. So you have a spot here that's got fish, birds, and lots and lots of small game that's baggable. So again, as I say, if you're trying to fill your satchel, this is a very good site. Now there are some other very good sites, notably for songbirds around uh, roads in Lemoyne. And there's also a couple of good spots off around Ansberg, but obviously the problem there is obviously they don't have an actual butcher. And I'm sure everyone's aware that if you go down to the actual swamps in Lemoyne around Saint Denis, then there's a lot of cranes, pelicans, spoonbills, and sort of wading birds, and they're worth very good money on their feathers and their carcasses. I feel it's probably best now that we start heading back and obviously still shoot anything that we see on the way, but. Um, it's time to sort of go and actually showcase how to use the satchel to get the most out of it because I'm sure that that is actually what most people will be watching this video for will be that information because I doubt any long-term player hasn't hunted in pretty much every area of the game and is probably fully aware of their own hunting spots. I mean, if you'd like to leave a comment in the section below suggesting a hunting spot that might be better, then please do feel free to leave that comment and we will do a video on it in the future. Oh, 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 that's a rat, I think. I need my rifle. Yep, got another little rat. Another little brown rat. That means we've definitely got two of them. We may have three, I'm not sure. Just had shot at a turkey. Nice. Again, a good hangable with turkey. Even if uh, turkeys are good because they normally run in larger packs, like three or fours, you drop them, even if you don't want to hang them because they're only worth a couple of bucks, you do get quite reasonable money on their feathers and their meat, just for skinning them. So, again, those are all lootables. And again, it's worth noting that if you do get kicked or if someone comes and griefs you or anything like that, um, the items in your bag won't disappear.
Yep. It did. I was going to say I shot it in the head. It should be dead. But it did. It did die. That was a raven. Okay, so we're just going to skin you or pluck you rather. Take the game, uh, game bird meat and the feathers for the money. Again, they'll go in the uh, satchel. Hopefully, I'll, we won't get griefed, but I don't think there's anyone actually in town. I'm at down the here. Looks clear. So. Oh, excellent stuff. I didn't know you'd gone ahead, but thank you, mate. Was I assume you were clearing the way? Yep. Excellent. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Right, now I do want to take that cougar off the back quickly and skin it. Seven seventy five for that musky. Thanks. Seven seventy five for the musky, so that's very good money. Very good money. I'm pretty sure that would have been better than that one star cougar. Well I've got a one star cougar uh, on the back there, so we'll find out. But I'm I'm literally ninety nine percent sure that that was the right way to go. <clears throat> right, so first of all guys and girls, what we're gonna do is we're just going to sell everything that isn't a small animal and then we'll uh, get into the sort of breaking down tutorial part of the actual episode. It's only five bucks and forty cents for a one star cougar so it is worth noting that if you do kill a one star cougar there you want to skin it to get its teeth its meat and its skin but then you're better off actually catching yourself one of the muskies or northern pikes in there because that will actually get you more money than a one star cougar okay so we're just going to sell that so now all we've got in the bag guys and girls is fish bird bird sorry and uh, small mammals so in the interests of sort of sciencing things so to speak shall we say here we have a perfect chipmunk carcass that would be worth 50 cents now we're going to break it down although I'm pretty sure we're going to lose money here because some small uh, mammals give pelts and meat and some just give meat and some give tails as well like squirrels so you have to take into account how many pieces you're getting and what they're worth so obviously we've got 50 cents there we, we're going to come out of the actual butcher quickly and go into the satchel just going to go along to the animals and we're going to find the chipmunk there he is and we're going to break him down by holding down x okay and then we're going to go back into the butcher so yeah. all we actually got here was 25 cents for the stringy meat because as you can see that's the only item we've got that isn't a full animal so we actually lost money there so you don't want to break down small creatures like chipmunks okay we'll sell that right now you can see we've got a perfect squirrel carcass here that's worth $1.75 okay I'm not going to break that down yet because here we've got four good squirrels which are worth $1.05 and this is a very important point I'm going to break one of those good squirrels down and show you what happens so we just get to the animals where the four there they are break one of those squirrels down okay and we're going to go back into the butcher right so here we have a squirrel tail which is worth 10 cents now remember as you can see here we've still got the three they're worth one dollar and five so the tail on a on a good squirrel would get us 10 cents the skin would get us 45 cents making it 55 cents and the stringy meat 25 cents so we're looking at 80 cents so we would have lost 25 cents which we have just lost obviously so you don't want to break down good squirrels let alone perfect ones so moving on just to finish off on the actual mammals that we've got here we've got a good rat carcass there and we've got a perfect rat carcass we've got two good sorry and a perfect rat so again i'm going to not do the perfect because we're going to do it with a a, um, a good because as you can see 45 cents 75 cents and again we're going to back out and go into the satchel and come across to the actual animals go down to the good rats and break one down by holding x okay and then we're going to go back into the butcher and as you can see all we got was stringy meat and a little 
uh, rat pelt. Now the rat pelt is worth 15, the stringy meat is worth 25, so that's 40. So we lost five cents on a good rat. And again, we would lose more on a perfect rat. So again, that may be a one star rat, like a squirrel could be broken down. But again, very serious rule of thumb is, every single different type of mammal I have tried in online of good or perfect quality is not worth breaking down. You make more money by selling it literally as a, a whole animal, a whole carcass, sorry. Okay, so moving on from, we're actually now going to sell that and sell that and then we're going to sell those three squirrels those three good squirrels which obviously is going to get us three bucks fifteen we're going to sell that perfect squirrel for a buck seventy five oh, that's that. then we're going to sell the good rat for the forty five and the perfect rat for the seventy five so obviously we're making the most money we can out of those animals right now moving on to the frogs we have a good toad carcass here worth thirty and we have a good bullfrog carcass, also worth 30. So again, we're gonna back out and we're gonna break down one of them. And we will break down the other in case there's a species, a special difference. So we're gonna break down the bullfrog first by holding down the X button. Okay, and then we're just gonna go back into the butcher. And the frog's legs will sell for 25, or the reptile meat will sell for 25. So we've actually lost ourselves five cents there. Okay, now again, I'm going to do this one more time with the other one just to show that there's not much difference between them, if anything at all. So we're going to break down that toad. Okay, mate, okay. and we go back in and the legs, again, are worth 25. So again, you can see it's not worth breaking down the frogs or small amphibians if you prefer. Uh, frogs and toads and things again if they're good or perfect or even poor because again it scales you're not going to make any money guys so you don't want to break down mammals you don't want to break down small um, amphibians okay and then moving on to the fish now we have the perch here for a dollar we have two bluegills at 75 cents each we have six uh, they're only poor smallmouth at uh, 80 cents each and we have the three chain pickerel at a dollar each so what we'll do is even though we don't have another perch we know that one's worth a dollar we're going to back out and break it down okay so break it down with x and then go back into the butcher right and all we're going to get is 40 cents so we've actually lost 60 cents by breaking that fish down so obviously we don't want to break down uh, that small fish. I will try it with one of the bluegills as well. Just in case there's again any special difference. So we'll break that down and re-enter the butcher. And this one, again, only 25 cents. So again, we've lost money. So it's not worth breaking it down because that was worth 75 so we lost 50 cents on that one we left 60 cents on on the perch so again guys and girls you really do not want to break down your fish but just to push the point home even further i'm going to do one of the chain pickerel in case that like i say that we find that one that is worth breaking down okay there's the chain pickerel also worth mentioning that pickerel are actually the smallest member of the pike family with the musky being the largest right so and that's only worth 40 so we lost another 60 cents there so again as you can see this isn't worth it but again i'm not sure would we make more money by breaking down a poor fish so we're going to break down one of the six smallmouth i holding down x break down a smallmouth okay and that was worth 80 cents before what are we going to get for its cut 40 cents so again so you don't want to be breaking any of your mammals amphibians or fish down at all so we're just going to sell those now just to try and recoup some of the money that we lost although it is all kind of money right so oh and i just sold a bird by mistake whoops right okay so we'll start with the cardinal we'll break that cardinal down now he's worth 60 cents as a bird okay as a full carcass he's worth 60 cents okay so we're going to break him down break you down okay and we're going to go back into the butcher 
and here you see we actually get three items we get his gamey bird meat now remember he was worth 60 cents we get his gamey bird meat which is worth 25 cents we get his feathers which are actually worth 30 cents each so remembering that he was worth 60 cents just selling his two cardinal feathers makes us the same money as his actual carcass so we've actually got the 60 cents there for those two feathers the 25 cents there for the car uh, for the gamey bird meat and we've got two feathers at 15 each which is another 30 so by breaking down the cardinal we're actually making 55 cents on top so we're actually bringing in 115 instead of 60 cents so i made a mistake as you can see by selling that by clicking too quickly and selling that one cardinal because we would have been able to sell that one break it down and sell it for more money so again you are going to want to break down your birds so as you can see i will just show that it's not just a fluke on the cardinal right this is one of the songbirds from around uh, roads in lemoyne so we're just going to literally leave again go into the satchel and break down the songbird okay and then we're going to go into the butcher and again you'll see we've been given three items so let's go straight to his feathers he was worth 60 cents two feathers worth 30 cents each so again when you break down in the small songbirds i can tell you i have tried this with several of the different you know the waxes the the, the swallows it's always the same you will get the same money from the small baggable songbirds cardinals finches swallows etc for their fe basic feathers as you do for the whole animal and then the bonus comes in the two uh, flight feathers which are worth more money obviously uh, sorry we should two flight feathers worth 30 and you get the game meat at 25 so you're making again like i said before another 55 cents so you're turning 60 into you're nearly doubling your money essentially so sell those and we'll check it with the crow as well just to finish off so coming back out Oh, no, my bad. I didn't go into the satchel. I went straight back in. Right, so coming back out to go into the satchel and breaking one down with X. Okay. Into the butcher. And again, here you'll see we have the three items. So going just to the raven feathers. Now, sorry, I forgot to say a raven. Uh, sorry, a raven. A crow is worth 60 as well. So as you can see, his two feathers are worth 30 each, so that's the 60. So again, we've made 55 cents on top. So literally, guys and girls, I'm just going to break down the rest of those so I can sell them all at once. We, the, the secret to making the most out of your bag, so making the most every time you come to the, the butcher, because obviously, as we all know, every, every animal you'll put stuff in your bag, whether it's a big animal or a small animal. But do be doing the small game hunting, and it's a perfect use for your varmint rifle it really is because most of the creatures in line in online sorry will give you a perfect carcass just for a simple single kill shot although the birds and some of the other small game if you want to you will get a lot more money and it's worth notice, noting that you also get more feathers by getting the perfects which puts the price up obviously when you break them down quite a lot okay and welcome back guys and girls well i'm sorry about that but the clip ended again so i had to restart and unfortunately i didn't realize until i'd finished breaking down and sold a couple of the actual uh, carcasses but as you can see we're here with the, the gamey bird meat the crow feathers and the uh, flight feathers but as you know if you break down the birds you are going to get more money as you can see here we're getting 25 on each of the actual uh, uh game meat we're getting 30 per feather and remember you get two feathers for the animal and it was only worth 60 so the feathers are paying for the animal so we're going to sell those four and then obviously we've got the flight feathers which you get two of as well at 15 a piece so you are making that 30 and the 25 again the 55 so we'll just sell those all as one bash and there you go you can quite easily see that the basic rule of thumb for this guys is to simply if it's got feathers break it down if it doesn't have feathers don't break it down sell it as a full carcass and that way you'll make the most money out of your actual satchel okay well that's all for this episode guys and girls thank you for watching and if you haven't already please remember to hit that like button 
and if you're new to the channel then please remember to hit that subscribe button and also please remember to hit that button for notifications of our latest videos and please feel free to leave a comment in the section below especially if you have a game or topic you'd like us to cover or indeed do a video on or if you have any question that might help with more sites to go to better places to hunt is there something you'd like to see us hunt i mean anything like this feel free leave a comment and a huge thank you to all of you who have already subscribed your support is awesome guys and girls as indeed are all of you and of course a huge thank you and shout out to both silent blade and to dante for all of their help they have been amazing today they have literally come along helped me given me the animals because I wasn't having much luck in finding them to ensure that this actual video came out for you guys. So a big shout out to you, Dante. A big shout out to you, uh, Blade. You are two super guys. Uh, would you like to say goodbye to the guys and girls? Sure. Later on, guys and girls. <laughs> okay, so thanks once again for watching. Take care and keep on gaming. Laters, guys and girls.